Hey guys, it's Celia and I'm back with another video. So today I'll be showing you how I got these flawless curls doing a Bantu knot out. You guys loved this style when I showed it on my Instagram. So just keep watching to see how I achieved the look. Now this is going to be a complete wash to style, so I started off by using the Texture ID Sulfate Free Clarifying Cleanser Shampoo, and the consistency was nice and creamy. Once I put it onto my hair, I instantly knew I loved it. Um, it had a nice lather, smells amazing, it smells like a perfume, and then um, most importantly, it made my hair feel nice and soft and also got my scalp nice and clean. So definitely love this um it's also made with honey and argan oil so nice ingredients and i really enjoyed this once i rinsed my hair off my hair was still left nice and soft now i went ahead and used their three times moisture cream conditioner next and this has a nice lightweight creamy consistency it has that nice perfumey smell just like the last product i um showed you and it made my hair feel so soft from the second i put it onto my hair um definitely loved this loved the slip as well you can see my fingers are just gliding right through making finger detangling super duper easy so um when i rinsed my hair my hair was left nice and soft but then i went ahead and used their deep treatment mask on top of my hair and you guys this product was so good it's super duper thick um doesn't have that nice perfumey smell i can't really tell what the smell is um not my favorite but it's not bad um it's made with sweet almond oil wheat protein and honey and it literally made my hair feel 10 times softer than the conditioner like the conditioner was good don't get me wrong but this was super good and i could tell my hair was already detangled but the slip was amazing i feel like the slip with this detangling would have been 10 times easier as well so i definitely recommend you guys to try this if you don't try anything else from their line um it's made to strengthen and hydrate your hair you know help reduce breakage and all that good stuff you know that deep conditioners do so this is my hair once I rinsed it out. Um, I left it in probably only like five minutes while I finished showering and stuff. But my hair was just so soft. Like I was so impressed with this line. And yeah, it was ama an amazing wash day. So let's just get right into the styling now. So I wanted this to be done on stretched blow dried hair because whenever I've tried to do bantu knots on wet hair, it never dries you guys. Like I have gone days waiting for it to dry and it was still wet. So um, yeah, I just wanted to do it on blow dried hair. So I'm going to be using the Texture ID Intense Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner and it's made with aloe vera and coconut oil, has a perfumey smell and I really liked this. It made my hair feel so so soft and typically I don't like these spray leave-in conditioners because they're usually just watery and pretty much pointless in my hair regimen but this wasn't mo it wasn't so much watery but it had like a light consistency and literally packed with so much moisture so went ahead added that and then blow dried my hair using my new Revlon blow dryer brush and I'll have a review coming up what probably after this video is up and yep yeah, just blow dried my hair and you can see my length is back you guys remember I trimmed my hair back in January and my hair is back long and healthy now to set my bantu knots i'm going to be using the texture id styling cream made with cocoa butter and shea butter um this smells just like the mask and it has the consistency of like a custard to me it's very lightweight and it even says on the on the package that it's supposed to give you medium hold um so put that on my hair just a little bit since this is a blow dried style you don't need a lot um and obviously it, you don't want your hair to revert so i used a little bit enough to 
make sure that my hair was soft and so that I would have some type of hold. And then I began doing my Bantu knot. Now how I figured out how to get a really good Bantu knot is by twisting your hair, but making sure you don't twist it so tight at the root. That is how you come out with those super just too tight bantu knots that will give you literally a headache so make sure you have a gap between you know your roots and where you begin twisting once you twist close to the end you want to start forming your bantu knot and i don't even know how to explain it you guys can kind of just watch what happens it kind of forms itself and then you just keep wrapping it around um you know wrapping your hair around itself making sure not to wrap too tight just so that you don't have super duper tight curls um, and that's pretty much it. I secured my bantu knots with um, bobby pins. You don't have to, sometimes it'll just stay, but I just wanted to make sure and just repeated that whole thing around my head. So I'm going to show you the process and then I'll be right back. So this is what my hair looked like once I was done. Didn't take me long at all. I did six in the back and six in the front. Um, bigger sections means looser, bigger curls compared to you know smaller, tighter ones. So I went ahead and let that dry overnight. And then I also did sit under my hooded dryer maybe for, I don't know, maybe an hour. And in the mor or actually not the morning, the late afternoon because I was going to a party. I um, did my makeup and all that and then I I took down my bantu knots and this is well these are the curls that I got they came out so good you guys so just went ahead and unraveled all of them and then once I unraveled them obviously I went ahead and separated and I was loving my hair you guys Of course, you guys know I always have to go in with my white tooth comb and add some volume, but once I did that, I was so in love with my curls. My hair was soft, my curls were just perfect. I thought I was about to go into this boat party looking super cute, but no. The heat went ahead and just ruined my curls. As soon as I stepped outside, you guys, my hair poofed back up and the curls were just gone. So your best bet is to do this on wet hair or to just wait till it's cooler to do because, yeah, you don't want to have the same experience as me and just waste a head full of beautiful curls. So let me know down below or thumbs up this video if you want me to do another video of a Bantu knot out on wet hair um, or if you want a video with more in detail of this Texture ID styling cream because I know a lot of people are raving about it. Just let me know. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one.